Celebration of Life and All Things Good is a lifestyle brand that was officially launched on the 25th of October in 2014. This lifestyle brand focuses on hosting prestigious events that showcase local talent that is yet to be discovered. To celebrate our one year anniversary, we are hosting a gala dinner party on the 31st of October to commemorate our existence in style. Today, we are at the overexposed photography studio, getting up close and personal with our performing artists. Male is Malefa Kathalele, um, born in Maseru, Lesotho. Um, I am the second of three daughters. I born to Buting Kathalele, Lesedi Kathalele, my parents, um, who raised us in a very warm and loving family. Uh, I think growing up, for me, I always felt like um, I was living in a paradise world, you know. Maseru is a very small town, so you kind of find yourself in a space where everybody knows everybody, that's the feeling. You know, you walk in town and you can't walk two blocks without greeting two or three people, you know, and it's a very close-knit kind of community. Um, I think the first, one of the first times um, that I knew I loved music um, happened uh, in my, uh, in the, small village that we lived in, Maserumoni, which was Point. And uh, there happened to be a church group that was building a big tent down the road from my house. So I'm about three or four years old, and uh, my best friend and I were playing Kocharuting, and you know, we've been seeing this tent going up for like the whole week. And at the weekend, the congregation comes together, and they started playing drums. I think that was the only instrumentation that they had, but the music was accompanied by these drums. And so, you know, little as we are, we ran out of the, the garden and ran all the way down the street. And my grandmother was calling out to us, hey, <laughs> you know, and we ran towards the tent to listen to the music they were playing. And the first song I learned, Yakereke, was from that moment in Ere. Auntie Jesus, I'm born. I can I'm bitter at And that was the first time I, I think I met music for me. Um, it just pulled at the strings of my heart. We disappeared for the whole afternoon. We came back later, we came back later to a very upset grandmother <laughs> who didn't understand why we would do something so irresponsible, but um, it was the calling. That was for me, the moment that I feel like was my calling into music. Um, the discovery that I love music more than the average person, um, I think was gradual really. Uh, you know, I remember a time when I was eight with my cousin and we had, you know, hair brushes in our hands and we were standing in front of the mirror seeing Mariah Carey, um, dream lover, come rescue me, you know? <laughs> and we would stand in front of the mirror and we would perform. And I remember that being another moment in time growing up where there was something about standing in front of a mirror, watching myself perform like Mariah Carey was doing and feeling like, oh, I just want to be like her, you know? The first time I heard Sanko Mota's, um, um, <laughs> um, that was another like huge song for me in my life, like songs that have inspired me um, to sing. I would say the, the genre, the style of my music, um, I would definitely start with soulful, um, Afro soul, uh, neo Afro soul, you know. I, um, growing up, also had a lot of R&B influence. So it's been a mixture of um, the songs that I heard growing up, uh, you know, like at weddings, you know, in the caring, Utlancheva on Chevestimel, Utlanchela Mala, you know, 
And then today I come up with a song that says, You know, so it's like a mixture of the soulful elements that I grew up listening to um, and also the traditional songs that were always around us growing up. What do I know about music that others, um, that I would like someone else to know? Music is life. It's like um, God loved us so much that he gave us music. It's like the sweet nectar of life, you know. So music is, is a very challenging best friend that you know has, that you have an, you know, ups and downs with all the time. We have um, quite a number of gigs coming up, um, especially in this uh, festive season. But my most uh, important for me, and uh, one of the most exciting events that I will be doing uh, this October is gonna be on the 31st of October at the Celebration of Life first year anniversary at Moyo's. Um, I, I, I love the Celebration of Life initiative concept because I feel like um, we don't get to give ourselves the opportunity and time to celebrate life enough as people and celebrate where we are, where we come from. So this is one of those events that I'm really looking forward to doing. Um, the rest of the events, the lineup of what I'll be up to, uh, you can find on my Twitter handle at Malay underscore Afrosol. What you can expect from my performance I, I love to do performances that are very, where we can get very intimate with each other, you know, from me to my audience. So I will be performing songs from my previous album, Stepchild, and um, some of the great tracks that are on this album, You Make My Heart Go. Um, and I really think that um, people will get a sense of me that they haven't quite seen before. Hi, I'm Malay. I will be serenading you in song at the first anniversary of Celebration of Life, this 31st of October at Moyo Zoo Lake. Do come through, join us with beautiful music, beautiful food, beautiful company. See you there. You make my heart go.